Now, he does not even look like he's in a position to fight. Right Coming now. in with a record of three and four. Yeah. A freestyle fighter standing 5'8", weighing 176 pounds out of Imperial, Nebraska. Fighting out of the Twin J Transportation Blue Corner. There he is. Malachi. <laughs> look at that. Look at that game face, man. I love it. Coming in with a record of two and one. A freestyle fighter standing 5'9", weighing 183 pounds. From Premier Combat Center in nine-round kickboxing. From Omaha, Nebraska. Fighting out of the Nebraska Lottery Red Corner, Isaiah Robinson. Both guys rocking some patriotic shorts here. Ramos in the spandex and uh, Isaiah Robinson kind of in the trunks. Low weight kick, low weight kick. Right there. Ramos has the look in his eye like he's always looking through you. Yeah. And, and I don't want to take anything away. I mean, Isaiah has got good movement here. He looks laser focused as well. He's kind of finding his range here. I'm expecting a really good scrap here. Yeah, both fighters feeling out the range, putting some stuff in the other fighter's face, seeing how they react. Oh, Wild Ramos punch, eats the right he hand. One. He caught one there. Ramos did. Derek Minner in the corner of Isaiah Robinson, calling for the jab to get a, a jab established. You know, he kind of wasn't really setting up a, a wild spin kick there. Both guys have kind of really yet to find their range. Kind of some wild punches from the outside. Uh, Isaiah's landed a couple, but... Both guys kind of respecting each other's power. Totally. Know? Robinson, I like. He's, oh, nice question mark kick. Robinson's throwing a lot of feints and seeing how Ramos yeah. reacts. But I, I'd like to see Ramos get his hands up a little bit. He, he needs to respect the high kicks. I agree. And the wild punches that Isaiah can throw at any time. Especially. And very fast, mind you. Robinson's been throwing a lot of teeps right up the middle. And at any moment, that teep could turn into a question mark kick. Yeah. You know, and you got to respect it. And But it, Ramos, on the other hand, he's trying to time that. You know, he look at every time Isaiah comes in, Ramos is putting something in his face. So. Right. And nice I, jab. I, you know, I would almost like to see Isaiah go back to that calf kick. I mean, yeah. that was laser fast. If you blinked, you missed it. I agree. Derek Minner, his coach, is calling for the same thing. Another high kick. Yep, you called it. In the, in the, in the, in the corner, rightfully so, is calling back for that leg kick. And, and, and Ramos doesn't seem to be checking those at the... As much as you'd like to see, I mean, yeah. those, those those add up after a few. They sure do. I would argue the most painful aspect of this sport is calf and yeah, thigh dude. kicks. Inside leg kick by Isaiah Robinson. Ramos does look unfazed in there, though. I mean, he just he just <laughs> always resets even after he gets clocked. Yeah. And he's always moving forward, I have to say. I will say, though, Isaiah is doing a better job of picking his shots and actually landing more shots that do damage. That was a huge leg kick right before the end round, the round ended. And you can yeah. see the red mark on Sarah Ramos Vanderbilt. Spot. Sarah Vanderbilt, you are the winner of two free T-shirts from Dynasty Combat Sports, Sarah Vanderbilt. Please pick up your prize. Lacey and Savannah, the Club Omaha Ring Girls. Derek Minner hammering home the suggestion to throw more low leg kicks. I, I couldn't agree with that advice anymore. They, they add up and- Round two. 
Ramos doesn't seem to, to have an answer. And I'm not doubting his toughness, but you know, if this fight's going to go through this round and, and then especially in the third, there, it's going to be an insurance policy yeah. for Isaiah Robinson. Robinson looking loose, though. Once again, Ramos in the American flag spandex in the blue gloves, and Isaiah Robinson in the American flag trunks and the red gloves. Can doubt neither man's patriotism in this fight. Yeah. Now, Ramos kind of jumping out of range of those leg kicks, so yeah. I think he's starting to realize that, you know, when he sat down, I wonder if he kind of was like, oh, I feel that now. Yeah, maybe his coach mentioned to him to keep an eye out on those yeah. things. Oh. Those kicks are getting closer and closer to cleanly just landing each time. He's got to be careful. Low, put something in his face. Ramos kind of pressuring him in a little bit. I'd like to see him throw a little more, some, some more straight punches. Yeah. And not just come so wide. It's, it's a little more predictable. Hey, Catches him with the right hand. Yeah. I mean, Isaiah Robinson has good footwork. He's very loose, he's picking his shots, and he's starting to find his groove. He's almost got like a dance in there. Now, now Ramos is kind of, you, you see, he's almost kind of flinching or hesitating now. Yeah, and he just switched stances. Okay, yeah. he's back to an orthodox stance. But he, I think he's starting to get a little frustrated. He's not able to pick his shots as much as Isaiah is. Ramos's leg is getting eaten up. Isaiah needs to throw more of those leg kicks. It's starting to settle in there, for sure. And there it is. And that's and that's good. That's good coaching too. You know, Derek Minner in his corner, seeing the opportunity to keep that leg kick open, and props to Isaiah for listening to his corner and and taking the shot as uh, Ramos allows to give it to him. You know, I've also cornered fighters in the past, and it's very frustrating when you see an opening that they just yeah. don't take it, you know, don't take advantage on, such as a low kick that is starting to turn the tables in this fight. <laughs> oh, that was a hard one. I mean, kind of a striking clinic Isaiah's putting on yeah. in the second round. Eats I mean, a right hand there a little bit. High low, high low. There's another leg kick. And a good fake, a good fake to set it up too. I assure you folks, Ramos feels that leg. That thing is welling up. So it's, I think it's like, Unvoluntarily affecting his walking, yeah. but he is showing how tough the man yeah. is. Seriously, there's a lot of people that would have collapsed and in, in, under that kind of scrutiny of the leg. Facial expression unfazed. Yeah, but but fatigue and lack of feeling in the leg has effects that you can't even control, no matter how many mentally yep. mentally tough you are. So it's going to slow down his timing and his counters. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes to the judges and Isaiah does just keeps in the rhythm and uh, you know Ramos is just stays tough because he's not an easy guy to put away. Yeah. But Isaiah is really starting to find his stride and rhythm and, and pick his shots at will almost. Third and final round, here we go. Once again, Ramos in the blue gloves. Isaiah Robinson in the red gloves. Both rocking old glory. And 
Isaiah's footwork and movement, I, I, I don't see Ramos landing these big shots that he's kind of been banking on. He, you know, it's like, and I've said it before, like he needs to establish a jab yeah, to kind of set up these big haymakers. He's telegraphing every big right hand he throws, and Isaiah's having no problem slipping out of the way. Right. And that's why footwork is so important, because yep. he's, he's not even really taking much damage because of it. You know, if, if you're Ramos and you've had no success striking him, it's like, do you, do you at least switch it up and, and get him on the fence in a clinch or, or shoot? It's like... I think he might be waiting, man. He's just trying to catch a, an opening for a big right hand that might not ever come. Yeah. And Ramos's leg hurts. I watched him now. That last one that landed, man, he really reacted to it. Yeah, look at him. That leg is just dying slowly on the vine. Yeah, and you can even you can even start the discoloration above his knee. It's going to be purple in a, in the next hour or so. Oh, that was stiff. Yeah, that was a good body tip. No, perfect. That's exactly what he needs to do. Go, go. Don't ask me. An inside leg kick that potentially looked close to the groin, but Ramos said he's fine. Ref yes, sees no reason to stop jab it. Double jab low. Double jab low. I'll tell you what, Isaiah looks more experienced than he is. I mean, this is his fourth fight, but man, I, you, you, you couldn't tell based on how loose and totally. This guy spent a lot of time putting in rounds in the gym. That's yeah, obvious. The, the hard work is definitely showing. This has been a striking clinic. 20 seconds. And I like how he picks his shots, and he doesn't take unnecessary risks. Yeah. He, he's still respecting Ramos's power while picking him apart and taking little to no damage. I mean, he could take a fight next month if he wanted to. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. One hard kick. One hard kick. Good fight. Good fight for uh, Isaiah. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of MMA, we go to the judges' scorecard, who score the bout in a unanimous decision for the fighter out of the Nebraska Lottery red corner, Isaiah Robinson.